Howdy, howdy, hi, hi. Well, everyone is mine, so you could call me multiply. Just so you know, yes, yes, I'm that guy. You could give five fingers and I'm not waving high. Guess I'm never ending. You could call me pie. But really, how long till the world realize? This is me on the regular, so you know. Yep, yep, you know that I go. This is me on the regular, so you know. Anything less than. Just... Obviously, I'm sorry. Hey, just get the bird. More like an eagle. This is my movie, stay tuned for the sequel. Hello everyone, I hope you liked the intro, <laughs> it took me a while to do it, <laughs> but I hope you liked it, mm. as you saw, this is like Android Wear, we're literally what you want, because we have Android Wear on a gear 2, which is not supposed to happen, <clears throat> but well, it's awesome, so, here's a new update, and as you saw, we have an air blaster. So we have like full control. We have several models like common remotes. We have several stuff. We have um, always on screen. It now works almost perfectly. There we go. It can stay like that for up to four hours. If you don't get notifications or wake the watch, it will automatically sleep in four hours. Oh, why isn't this focusing? Focus. There we go. So yeah, it will sleep in four hours, but you can wear it like this all day. Tap to wake screen works perfectly. Um, and tilt to wake also works. So if we put it to sleep, we can take it up and it will wake. Yeah, it's pretty great. Works perfectly. Um, well, we're, I'm going to show you how to install it. And oh, by the way, also we have USB MTP enabled. In case you don't have, in case you don't know what this is, it's file transfer via USB. So now you can connect your watch to the computer and move uh, songs or images and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So, but the only thing is that we don't have a gallery yet. So you can't watch that images but it's pretty cool it's progress um well i'm going to show you how to install it the first thing you need to do is download the files in the description as always it's going to be a full flash so you don't need any kernel or anything and you can flash it from tizen or from a previous build whichever you want uh, so okay let's move to the computer Okay, so now in the computer, everything you need will be in this zip file, which has a date of today, uh, 19 of July. But once you unzip the file, you will get this one. Uh, we need Odin, as always, and the additional file that comes with Odin. If you don't have this file, it won't work, so you need to have both in the same directory. For example, desktop or documents or wherever you want to put it. And uh, now we're going to get on our device in download mode as usual uh, we are going to hold the power button hold and hold and hold okay so till we get a rebooting screen once in rebooting we're going to sell, click power once to scroll down to download and we're going to hold okay sorry I don't show you this but you can check previous videos too if you need to know how to do it now we're going to connect our device there we hear the little soundy um, next we're going to open Odin click yes okay, in Odin we're going to click on AP to our file which is going to be in desktop scroll down and then it's this one remember July 19th 2015 open here we have the file we have the added sign which means the drivers have been properly installed uh, we have to click auto reboot enabled 
and the reset time enabled make sure you don't have anything else and once this is ready you can notice it's a pretty heavy file it's 540 megs um, we are going to click start so this might take a couple of minutes so I'm going to fast forward through this Cool. Once finished, our device will reboot, um, and we just have to wait. <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of sick. Great. it put it into recovery so this is very simple if you want to do a clean install uh, like start from scratch every time it's quite good um, if you want like a perfect experience with no bugs because we might have bugs if we keep updating constantly so you can just go into wipe and factory reset if you want that clean install I'm not going to do it because it takes a while to clear and boot the first time so I'm just going to put reboot system okay Cool, we finally booted and it's like adapting the apps for the new software version. And by the way, while we were waiting for it to boot, uh, I got this driver and software installation apparently for the MTP USB device and it failed. So I'm going to wonder why it failed. I will solve it and I will show you ahead in the video I'll close this to, while we wait Cool, we booted up. Uh, now, I'm still wondering about the MTP. I was researching, but I haven't found anything. Um, and we get a notification that it's connected as a media device. Open, open what? Okay, well, that button is interesting. But, yeah, it works pretty well. I can scroll through the oh okay unfortunately play music has stopped hmm weird I told you about bugs if you don't do clean installs um it's going to play music let's see what's going on in here play and rare oh I have no music okay but yeah well that's pretty much it for the latest update um let me figure out that thing about the MTP software and we'll be right back. 
Yay, so I got it to work. Look, I can open my files. These files are on the internal storage of the gear. Uh, I can go into music. Obviously, I don't have pretty much anything. Maybe an Android. I have a camera. Ooh, maps. Oh, yeah. I have, like, all the folders on my device. Uh, pretty much, I don't know what got it to work. But I will tell you what I did. So what I did was going into devices and printers. When it didn't work, I went into here to check what was going on. Mm, sorry, my computer is really slow. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe someday. Okay, this is taking longer than usual. Mm hmm. Super weird. Okay, so devices and printers. Open devices and printers. I command you. Okay, here we go. That is weird. Uh, and now I have this MTP like icon, but I used to have like when it wasn't working. I had it down here under unspecified. It said something like Samsung Android something, and what I did was right click on the device, going to properties, hardware properties again then change settings mm, I'm missing another window yeah here uh, I went into driver and clicked update driver because clearly the driver wasn't working so I browsed my computer I selected here the Google the folder where I have the Google drivers um, for like Nexus devices and pretty much Android devices um, it, but it didn't work like I clicked next and it said no 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 my driver is better although it's a driver from 2006 but anyway so it said it doesn't work that driver so I said like fuck uh, I didn't know what to do so I thought uninstalling was the best option so why I clicked on uninstall I did it I don't want to do it now when I did it the there was an MTP device here like one of those changed I think it's this one it changed um, but it used to say MTP so it said it wasn't working so I was like oh bummer uh, so I disconnected my device like this mm -hmm. Disconnected it. Well, apparently, <laughs> it took a while to realize it was disconnected. But yeah, it's disconnected. Okay, now it realized. Uh, I connected it again, and I got a message that it was installing drivers again. So it installed drivers and it worked. Yeah. So really, you see, I can open. I can open my folders. Yeah, so really I don't know what got it working, but I hope this works for you. Probably I think that what failed was that the watch was still booting up when I tried to install the drivers originally. So probably that's what worked. Um, but yeah, so I would recommend it to disconnect the device when it's booting up for it not to install in like wrong drivers uh, but yeah now it's working it's working pretty well and thank you very much for watching this has been all for the 19th of January July update sorry um, and yeah like it if you liked it disliked it if you disliked it and 
anything you need you can ask me in the comments or send me a hangouts message trust me guys I really do my best at answering all the comments but I'm not perfect I can't answer them all so yeah if you need something urgent or I haven't replied in a day or two just send me a hangout message and I'll be glad to reply uh, thank you very much thanks for watching